Aloha! This is Lisa with Sun Woman, and I'm here with Susanna Kennedy. Welcome. We're at the Birthing a New Humanity Symposium, and Susanna, I discovered, has lots of interesting um, things going on in her life, and I thought that it would be really inspiring to share with all of you, as she is an inspiring woman. <laughs> Susanna, um, I understand you've created several programs to assist people in their ascension and empower women, and well, probably both male and females, is that, is that right? And I know you work with um, Sacred Union and several other things. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about the programs, what, what programs you have? Um, yeah, the, um, one program is called Emotional Mental Detox, so that's kind of self-explanatory. And then um, the other one is called Divine Human Upgrades. So that's like a systematic, uh, guided approach to moving through the, uh, an accelerated evolution in a quick, easy, graceful way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because sometimes as we uh, are in our process of ascension, there is a lot of drama, I'd say. So if it can be easy and graceful, I'm all for that. Yeah, yeah. there's an alternative to drama. <laughs> Wonderful. And um, so how did you come up with these programs? I mean, that's like a, you know, just, you're, you just downloaded it, or how did you I actually, Yes, I actually did download. I, um, I guess my, uh, the connection the biggest connection or the biggest um, experience that I had was in a cathedral in France, in the Chartres Cathedral, and that's where I received the download. And um, I, I received it, I perceived it, I experienced it as a conception. <laughs> I called it an immaculate conception yeah. because it was a, um, a, a holographic light. <laughs> packet, and um, I was told that I was to consider myself pregnant, and that something would be birthed through me for humanity, and, um, and that was right before I moved here to Kauai, and so nine months to the day, <laughs> the um, technology was birthed, and uh, it comes in a form of a series of guided meditations that, that are encoded with um, using uh, geometry and light and sound and imagery and um, commands to the system about what to let go of, what to bring in and anchor instead. You know, it's, it's just a whole guided thing in a particular sequence that makes it makes sense and is, is graceful. Mm -hmm. So that's called the Divine Human Upgrade Program. Beautiful. So, um, you mentioned to me uh, right before the interview that you were involved with all these different councils mm -hmm. and um, that was also instrumental in your coming into this and you, you have a sense of what is going on because uh, planetary maybe universally yeah, yeah um, I'm on quite a few um, co-creative councils anything that has to do with the science of consciousness and creation um, <laughs> I've been on a lot of councils so um, the uh, co-creative council that has been the architect of the new reality that we're moving into um, the co-creative council for the kind of like genetic en engineers for the new um, humanity, the new DNA for humanity, um, the, uh, the grids, so the grids of the planet, the consciousness grid, anything having to do with grid work. So and then, um, anything that would be considered the divine mother um, influence. So, with whatever is going on, and we all have a sense, there's something happening, I think. Um, so, how does that have, what, what kind of impact is there? <laughs> what kind of impact 
is there for women? What What is it that women, how do you perceive our role in this, um, this transformation that's going on on the planet? Right. Well, we're moving from a patriarchal society into a integrated society. We had prehistory, um, there was a lot of culture that was actually matriarchal. And that was kind of out of balance in another way. And so we had a time for the patriarchy. And now it's time for the integration, so the, so the co-creation with both. But because the, the pendulum needs to swing back into the middle, for a while it's got to go into the feminine. And women, um, this is a time for women to come into their empowerment. And actually the, the co-creative power obviously is with the women just, you know, because we have that expressed in the way that we um, give birth. Mm -hmm. And so you, you see that. And um, women actually are you, um, designed to hold and express power in a, in a balanced way. And, um, you know, the heart is the great integrator. And so being able to integrate the feelings and the emotions with the mind through the heart. And um, so women are playing a, a, a big role now to bring things into balance because it's going to um, be brought into balance through the feminine first. And so you've seen women being drawn more to to express their spiritual side, um, to become empowered. It's, it's a big um, thing that's happening planet-wide because they, they have that intuitive sense that now is the time to, to come into power. And, um, and as, you know, a general um, reference, of course there's always exceptions with our brothers in the male bodies, but mostly this is going to come through the women first and they will then hold the space for the men to come into their empowerment. And for the men, it's coming into their heart and expressing through their heart and being able to balance. So, um, so it's, yeah, it's a really big role for women. And the Divine Feminine has anchored into the planet. She's kind of been not, um, not present for a while in a certain sense because of doors closing. Uh, on that for a long time, and and um, the you know she has in recent months really anchored into the planet and it's expressing. And what was really exciting for me to see is that now the energy that I see, this is my perception, coming from um, the center of the planet is now a platinum light, which is a very integrated high frequency co-creative light and it's actually the light of source the mm. creatrix so um, I've seen it go through many different colors as it moved up through the spectrum and when I saw that it was the same color as what was coming from source it was like oh okay we've come into alignment and that's really good news beautiful